for more great videos and learning tutorials, or to download the exercises that go with these videos, please visit our website at www.createthenet.com. That was www.createthenet.com. In our last video, we saw how to create some simple links to both internal pages and also external pages um, from our web page. In this video, what I want to show you how to do is instead of creating a link that opens up a web page, I want to create a link that actually opens up an email window and will allow me to email somebody directly by clicking on that. To do that, I'm again going to use an A tag. So again, I'm going to select right after the opening P tag, and I'm going to open an anchor tag. The href statement that I'm going to enter in, however, is going to be a little bit different. Instead of being an HTML page or a URL address that starts with HTTP, I need to tell the browser that I'm actually opening up a mail window. So the code that I'm going to use here is mail2, M-A-I-L-T-O, and then a colon. There's no forward slash forward slash after the colon, unlike the HTTP. So I'm just going to do mail2, colon, and then the email address that I want to go ahead and link to, which I'm going to say I want to email this to sample at sample.com and then I'm going to go ahead and close my href, my opening a tag with the href attribute and I also need to close the a tag completely overall and now when I go into live view you're going to see that email me is now a link and when I click on it it will open up whatever pop mail or email program that I currently use It'll open up Outlook or Outlook Express or Eudora, whatever email program I'm using, uh, Apple Mail. What it won't do, however, is it won't actually open browser-based email. So if you're opening up, if you use Gmail or Hotmail or Yahoo Mail, this actually won't work for you. Um, but that's how you make a very simple email link. Also, if you're interested in seeing the high definition 1280 by 720 videos, please go to createthenet.com. When we upload these videos to video sharing services, they always shrink the video size down and decrease the quality so they come out a little bit fuzzy. If you go to the website, you can see the full resolution versions of these videos.